show you a couple things. I wanted to show you how to install these layer effects um, that are just like um, in Photoshop when you double click on one of the layers the layer effects panel pops up well uh, somebody made them for GIMP also and I wanted to show you it because it's pretty cool and uh, it's got you know the drop shadow the inner shadow outer glow inner glow bevel and emboss set and color overlay gradient overlay pattern overlay and stroke on there I wanted to show you there's two different types there's the script and then there's the the Python type now if you have a newer version of GIMP and you're on Windows you won't have to install anything because the Python is already in the new GIMP so it'll work and I I me personally I prefer the Python one because um, you could go ahead and preview it um, on the script you can't so in order to save the the Python one you need to right click on this link and then whatever browser you're using there should be a save link as or save link save something and then you click save link as and then you'll want to go in to your, your uh, local disk and then you'll want to go to your users and then you'll want to go to the GIMP point dot GIMP dash 2.8 and then you'll want to go all the way down to your plugins and then you just want to save it in there I'm not going to uh, save it because I already have it right here but you just click save and you save it in there and you restart GIMP and I will show you where you have that at when you when you restart GIMP Oh, this is the tutorial that I'm going to show you next. That's the reason why I'm showing you how to do this first. You want to go ahead and it will be over in your layer. And down here, layer effects. And here they all are. Bevel and Boss, Inner Glow, Inner Shadow. They're all right there. And the next one that I want to show you how to install is the GMIC plugin which is pretty cool you could go to this gmic online and it, you they also got it online you could use it online but it's a bunch of plugins that are pretty awesome that you can do a bunch of stuff now the reason why I'm showing you how to install this is because this is a is a, a pain in pain in the ass um, excuse my language but it is and if you're on Windows 64-bit, this is the one that you want to download. And if you're on Windows 32-bit, it's easy. All you do is download it, and there's an installer. Install it, restart GIMP, and there it is. But for 64-bit, it's not that easy. So if you're on 64-bit of Windows, you download it. And then the GMIC um, will come in a zip file. You want to open it up and you could go ahead and extract it all to your desktop if you want to matter of fact that's better to do so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll make a new folder all I did was right click on my desktop and then go down to new in the folder and then we'll just call this gmic and my computer is running super slow today and then let's go ahead and open this back up and we'll extract everything to that GMIC folder and I'm using WinRAR you might be using 7-zip or whatever or you can just use the unzip it regularly norm, uh, normally on Windows and just press OK and it unzip in there and the reason why I had you do this is because there is a file in here that you need to rename for it to work on GIMP this libpng16-16 underscore underscore dot dll well you could install it and everything and GIMP will say that you're missing this right here well what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on it and then right click on it and then go to rename and you want to go ahead and just take out them underscores and then hit enter and then you'll want to take this all this stuff and you'll want to install it into your plugins.
Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up here. We're getting, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You want to go, here, I'll just start over. You'll want to go into your computer and you'll want to go to your local disk and you'll want to go to the program files. This is only if you're on 64 bit. And then you'll want to go to the GIMP2. And then you'll want to go to the share. And then GIMP. And then GIMP 2.0. And then you'll want to go ahead and install it into. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Did I just tell you the wrong one? Let's see. No, I'm sorry. I, I downloaded the new GIMP and I had GMake for a while and I lost it because it's in the lib. Go to the lib folder. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. So, when you go into the GIMP 2, you want to go to the LIB lib folder and then go to GIMP 2.0 and then plugins. And you'll want to just go ahead and click on this go all the way down to the bottom hold down shift and click on that and you'll just want to click and you'll want to drag everything into the GIMP 2 lib GIMP 2.0 plugins and it'll be in there like I already have it in there there's the GMIC and then all of the plugins will be in there and then you just want to go ahead and close off of it and when you start up GIMP you will have it. You'll go to filters and then down here GMIC and you will want to go ahead and click this down here it'll say uh, internet I don't think it'll be checked you want to check it and then you want to hit the refresh button and you should have around 620 if not more available filters there and then there is a whole bunch of filters that you could use in here I just wanted to show you how to install those two because on this tutorial right here we are going to be using them too. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and and upload this video because first because it is going to make the other video even longer. So I will see you guys in the next video on the bleach tutorial. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you like it please like, subscribe. Thank you.